Welcome to Business Innovators Radio, featuring industry influencers and trendsetters sharing proven strategies to help you build a better life right now. Hello, listeners. This is your host, Andy Curry. Welcome to the show today. I have an exciting guest for you to hear. I have on the line with me, Anna Weber, who has been speaking professionally for 12 years, and the content she speaks on is several, so let me go over them. One is lifestyle and leadership, relationships, time management and time systems, money management, money relationships, and switching hats in our lives. I love those. Now, Anna speaks in the U.S. and internationally, and as she said prior to the interview, she speaks in between, meaning she speaks on airplanes and ships, and uh, she is based out of California. Anna has written an astounding 17 books, and her latest one is called 360 Degrees of Success, and one of her most well-known books is called The Money Flow. So, Anna, welcome to the program. Thank you. It's great to be here. It's great to have you here, Anna. If if I was going to list any more accolades, I'd have had to take several more breaths. That's a, that's a, long, <laughs> that's a long list. <laughs> that's good. Well, let, breaths is a good thing. Yeah. Let me ask you, Anna, about your speaking business. Now, you're you're you've sure. got a lot in your background. What's what's going on in your speaking business? Who are you talking to? What are you teaching them, and how are you helping them? Well, I would say one of the primary um, audience that I speak to uh, are business people, entrepreneurs, CEOs of companies, um, uh, leaders, uh, and various uh, business builders, and also on the personal side to individuals and people who attend uh, wellness and health centers where they really want to see a transformation in their lives. I'm just going to give you an example, uh, Canyon Ranch, Tucson, Arizona. Uh, we have people coming there, attending and staying at you know, at that facility weeks in a row from all over the world, Australia, South Africa, South America, Asia. They come for a week, two weeks, three weeks, and even longer. And um, these people are looking for to find more balance, less, um, I would say, some of them actually looking for, you know, losing some weight or having more uh, peace of mind, having less anxiety, uh, being more fit. However, they're also looking more to find balance and to find purpose and to find passion in their lives. So their passion is kind of like, you know, like a candle, you know, it's almost ready to be burned out. So that's what they actually trying to find while they're exercising, while they're eating very healthy, um, doing walks and, and doing some social you know, social events, they're playing uh, bingo or other types of, uh, you know, swimmings and other types of activities. They're looking to hear someone also speak and lecture and have some amazing and powerful and effective and also friendly takeaways from a lecture or from a speaking uh, opportunity engagement. And that's where I fill in. I... um, talk to these people for an hour or two. Actually, I'm having a workshop coming up in December. That's going to be a two hours and two hours, a four-hour intense workshop with people from around the world. And what they're going to walk away with is one of the most, I would say, profound uh, takeaways that each and every one of us (laughs) can use in our lifetime. Um, And that is Number one, they're going to befriend everything they do, not just what they want to do, but also what they have to do in order to live a balanced and a very um, functional life. Uh, They're going to embrace the switching of the hats, how to put on that role, that hat, and really be at your optimal level, be the best that you can at that level, and um, be very focused on, 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 what they do uh, in such in such a fashion that it's not like a challenge or a stressful situation, but it's an opportunity. They're going to proact with that. And number three, they also, one of the most essential areas in our lives, they're going to walk away with tools and formulas and principles. When to blend more emotions, I tell people when to leave the mystery and when to solve the puzzle and when you need 
a little bit more of one or the other in order to resolve or solve any type of uh, you know, challenge. It can be a business challenge, it can be a personal challenge, a family challenge, it can be a social challenge, or a challenge within yourself. And uh, th- those are basically the tools and uh, the takeaways that I provide people. And it's, uh, it's, it's extremely impactful. And again, it's, it's pretty much falling into the um, wellness, wellness industry and also slowing down the, the aging uh, you know, process. Because when we are less stressed and we really maintain a good, healthy body and mind and spirit, and we have a passion and we have a purpose in our lives, we actually feel much younger and more energetic, and that's, that, that energy is what I really share with these people. Some people tell me, could you put it in a bottle, and I really want to take it with me. I said, look, <laughs> I said, inhale it and, 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 and reactivate it when, when I'm not there next to you, and catch yourself. When you have a moment of despair or a moment of you don't like what you see in the mirror or, or a moment that you're saying, well, I can't focus on this. I, I'm just kind of dry. I can't, I can't think of anything. It's okay. You give yourself a break, but then you have the tools and you have the formulas how to re-apply uh, that and how to get back into the swing of things. And most importantly, again, your spirit. Your spirit gets ignited. Your your whole um, entire being becomes very, very active in all areas of life. And that's what people walk away. So if it's a CEO or a CFO or an organization, they need leadership skills. They need uh, uh, to be on top of things. They need to be hands-on. This is what I've been doing most of my life. I built companies from the ground up for over 25 years, CEO, CFO, CEO. I've done all of the above. And uh, that's my that's where the passion actually started off. And then I kind of branched into more of a personal and wellness and uh, and uh, mind body spirit type of uh, you know type of uh, approach okay now when we before we started the interview you had mentioned we wanted to talk about workshop and courses so let's go into that sure so tell us about that well, the course, first of all, I've designed the 360 Degrees of Success course. It's an application, it's an app, but it's also an online course that students can log on and apply and take at their leisure time. So there's two ways you can uh, implement and learn and practice the 360 Degrees of Success, either a phone app or a regular course. And what is that giving you? It's giving you five intense modules, video, audio, and worksheets, and uh, various uh, handouts. And it's giving you the entire packet, the tools, how to really create um, better relationships, personal, family, and business, how to manage your time, as we mentioned earlier, how to build the time systems. I developed a whole um, program that's about the time systems. It's all in color, how to live your life in color, um, how to maintain your energy. It talks about various types of food, how you tap into your energy, how you learn how to be disciplined with food. And you're not feeling imprisoned or, or uh, you know, closed in and, and no, how should I say, not, not a free type of a uh, feeling. But you feel actually more open and more free than ever and you apply um, certain uh practices and certain exercises that I have. And then, of course, money. Money is huge. I mean, money is is, is, a, is, is one of our, the areas that we feel extremely um, drawn to and extremely drained with as well. So how to manage money, how to build a relationship with money, um, and how to live a, so, a, a healthy social life with basically embracing all facets of life, and again, the switching of the heads. So all of these five modules, the switching of the heads is actually grabbing it and linking it all together. Do you take like a table, do you take like a table, let's say dining room table with four chairs, so you have time, energy, relationships, money, each represents one leg, and the tabletop is actually switching of the heads, how you, how everything is connected with what you do not necessarily think of anything else but what you do at the moment so you don't get overwhelming sensations. So that's part of the training and part of the course as well. Okay. That sounds very vast. 
what's the, what's the average time for someone to go through that? Well, it depends. You can take the course and you can take it in, I would say, it can be in, uh, uh, you know, 15 hours. It can, you can, you can go back to various modules as you feel that you have the need, um, as life happens to you and for you and with you. So you basically, uh, you can take it, uh, you can, you can extend it and practice everything and it can take you three to six months. Mm -hmm. But most people is a 90 day, uh, I would say, Within 90 days, and that's kind of interesting because when you apply for a position for a company, you have the 90 days probationary period, so you can go one way, way or another. The same thing with this course. It's a 90-day course. But again, it depends how you want to accelerate it and how you want to uh, apply your time and how much you really want to get you know, involved in it. But it is a 90-day, and uh, you, you're going to see tremendous results after the 90 days. You are going to see changes. And one area that I would say that is very much um, highlighting the course is how you flow with change. Obviously, change is guaranteed. Change is constant, and people really having a very hard time with change. People having a very challenging time with letting go of past emotional uh, experiences, uh, ties, and so forth. And change is basically what can happen to you in the present. Obviously, letting go is more in the past. And then the third element, which is connected with the time systems and the time management and all of the other modules, is looking forward to tomorrow. We kind of lose hope. As we deplete that passion state, it's like, oh, what, what am I looking for tomorrow? What's, what's going on? I need, I need some kind of, some kind of a, you know, some type of a, a bribe or some kind of, some, something, some type of a, uh, I would say, event in our lives that we want to really have something to look forward to tomorrow. So that's what the 360 is also empowering the individual or the groups or the organization. How to let go. Have so much more of a freer notion how to really focus in the now and how to look forward for you know to tomorrow and and really deal really look at that change grow with it and learn and its behavior how we really apply the attitude and everything else in life towards that change that we are experiencing at the moment you you mentioned just a moment ago about how to focus on the now mm -hmm. and that is I've uh, heard a lot of speakers and motivational gurus mm -hmm. talk about that. What is your advice for how to focus on the now? Well, being present is, is huge. Uh, that's where I developed this uh, system and course, how to empower people not to be overwhelmed with what they do and they take action at the moment, regardless of what it is. If it's a load of laundry or it's an essay for a certain degree that you want to achieve or you're reading a book or you're doing homework with your children or you're driving from destination A to destination B, regardless, you are very much in the moment. And that is when you free yourself from that yesterday overwhelming and, and challenging emotions. And also you really are kind of jazzed, you're kind of excited about tomorrow, then it also gives you a whole different perspective on the present. Uh, I think the, the key element here is not to think of anything else but what you actually are doing at the moment. And that's when you're really connecting with that action because you're producing results. Any idea can be fantastic, but if you don't bring it into action, then the idea is basically null and void. When you bring it into the action, when you're producing results, and that is all happening in the now, it can happen in the tomorrow because tomorrow, again, it's another, it's only in the now when you're actually living through it. It also cannot be in the yesterday. So the time systems and the time management and also the stitching of the hats, they work very well together in this area of really empowering people and helping people how to, like right now, nothing exists except you and me, Andy. So that is something that is extremely um, crucial in, in, in our lives to create personal business and professional and, and uh, you know, happiness in our lives. It's success without happiness. It's just one little, you know, one little segment of it. Right. You know, you mentioned too a little bit ago about hope and the power of hope. <clears throat> my um, 
dad passed away almost a year ago, but he was fighting some cancer Mm -hmm. stuff uh, before that. Mm -hmm. And um, we put him in the hospital and this this, for like the fifth time in in six weeks. And I was upset with the staff and I said, I want an answer. Why does, why do we keep doing this? And Mm -hmm. finally they pulled me aside and said, well, you need to call hospice. Mm -hmm. And when we sprung that on him, that was a tough day. Mm -hmm. Um, Pretty hard, of course, for him and 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 us as a family. And then he, um, about three days later, he says, "You know, I got to thinking. My cancer doctor said um, that my cancer is under control." And he mm-hmm. says, "I think they're wrong." And so we went to the cancer doctor, and the cancer doctor examined and said, "Well, you might die in six months, but it won't be from this cancer," which is what the hospital thought. Wow. And the hope that he got from that. That that's when I really realized the value of hope. That just yeah. that just hit me over the head like a ton of bricks. Yeah, yeah. I always tell people I've gone through several experiences with my mom, and I can tell you one thing: is that the the, the hope is absolutely huge, and believing in 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 something positive is is, is absolutely remarkable. But in people, you know, even in the medical field, they make tremendous mistakes. They do. But 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 when we take hope away from someone, we actually take away, take away their dignity. There is a certain there's a certain way of living that you don't want to take anyone's. You want to validate that that's my number one foundation to relationships. You need to validate how somebody feels. You can argue about how you feel. I can argue about anything, politics, whether you name it, I can, but I cannot argue about how you feel. And when we validate people and we don't touch and really infringe on their dignity they, and we give them, you know, uplifted spirit and hope, that can turn everything around. I mean, this is, this is something like you said, your dad really had hope. And and that is more valuable than it, you know because he he believed in something that maybe wasn't as realistic or tangible, but it was something that he felt. Yes, and and it was remarkable to see his posture. Yes. When, when he learned that, it's it's he went yes. from everything's done to oh, I'm going to be okay for now. Yes. Yes. Exactly. My my mother was in hospice a year ago, a year and a half ago. They declared her pretty much gone. Uh, they said she has only 48 hours. The morphine was right at the drip, and I stopped everything. And I said, look, I am not going to let my mother die of hunger. She went through enough. I said, he said, well, she's going to choke if you feed her. She's going to die. I said, no, my mother is not going to die that way. That's not enough dignity. If she's going to choke and she's going to get sick, I might as well feed her. And I fed her with little tiny little spoons. And I got news for you. Within a week, she sat at the table. She's still around. She's still alive. Wow. I did that twice. I did that twice, and I sent the hospice home, and I said the morphine getting, you know, disposed of because I'm not gonna assist to it. And they said, well, she's suffering. I said, why don't you ask her? And then we looked at her, and she said, no, I'm happy that I'm alive. I'm doing well. I'm not suffering. I said, now you see, now you, I'm sorry, but your job is no longer needed. And I really argued with the medical people, and I said, they said, well, why do you think you know more? I said, because I'm not going to let her die of hunger and have no dignity. If you're telling me she's going to choke because she has such a bad pneumonia with the food, and we're going to starve, instead we're going to starve her for days, of course she's going to die with the morphine. Then I might take a chance. If she chokes, let her choke on, on some really good blended juicing that I'm going to make for her. But at least I say I, I tried. And that's how it really happened. And I had three, four, five people that nurses and caregivers, and they looked at me and they said, well, you're really taking a chance. I said, but you know what? I'm not taking away her spirit and her hope and her dignity. And she, this was May 2014. And now what? We are September 2015 and she's still around. Amazing. It is. And this is a true story. And, uh, you know, she, she likes to go to Vegas for her birthday. She's a gambler. And I, you know, so we, and she, she's not in the greatest health, of course not, but she's not on medicine. And she gets the breathing treatments once, twice a day. But she says, you know what? I'm happy to be here today. Wow. that's I'm happy for you. You know, that that's a great story because your story, my dad's story, is yeah. one way how we give away our own authority to someone who we think has more authority in, in what we do. No. And, and you took it over. 
you yeah. know, that was great. Yeah. In our in our experience, we we walked away defeated. Um, yeah. But you know, he'd been sick for quite a while, and, and we just accepted it. But he didn't. Well, well, you know, my mom had cancer when she was in her sixties, and I was a divorced young woman, thirty one years old, thirty two actually. It was my son was a little boy, and. Um, the, the place where I was working at the time, they said, well, you can't really take time off to help. And I said, you know what, then I'm quitting. I'm going to use my 401k, my savings, and I'm going to take care of her because she's in bad shape. And she's not doing so well. And this, that's where the switching of the hat actually happened because he is a corporate executive, loves to dress up in a suit and high heels and pumps and looking, you know, kind of hot and everything and makeup and all that. And all of a sudden, my whole life changed when she had the breast cancer. And I said, oh, my God. Everything that she's helping me with the laundry and the picking up my son from school and the shopping and the and the groceries and and doing doing cleaning the house all of these I'm gonna do I'm gonna give up that corporate hat and I'm gonna devote to everything in life because I feel that she really needs me. That's when it all started. That's when it all started. That the fact that I realized that by wearing different hats and wearing different you know do, doing certain tasks in life, how much how much love and how much compassion and how much understanding it gave me. Then when I went back to, to the other position that I acquired, I was making a lot more money and it, I was much more uh, appreciated and I was just, I, I grew that four months that I stayed home, I grew probably at least four to five years as far as a person. That's interesting. I, that same thing happened to me. I sold my um house and, and 36 acres spray to come up and take care of my parents mm. and um, yeah, I, it turned out that's I was my dad's caretaker I was I took him to a doctor almost every day yeah. and um, it teaches you patience teaches you love mm -hmm. and now that it's all over even though it was difficult at times I'm very happy yeah. that I did that uh, yeah you know what it's also and it's, it's also teaching us how to value certain certain aspects in our lives. That what is really what is the value? What is the trade off of one thing against the other thing? Mm -hmm. what, is, what what is more important? What is more precious? Um, is money your master? Is money is a good servant for you? Is is your is your ego and our our narcissistic uh, you know sense that we all have a little bit of it what what happens to that it's like we put ourselves aside and you know, realizing that that person is more important because they really need you they're frail they're vulnerable and 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 it really be, you become more of a quality human being because you're realizing that hey nobody will be here nobody's forever so what what am i exchanging for what hmm. Absolutely. Well, Anna, thank you so much. This has been a terrific conversation. Thank you. And how can uh, people get a hold of you should they want to hear you speak or know more about oh, the things that sure. you're doing? Sure. Well, they can email me to uh, Anna, A-N-A, -A, at Anna Weber, doc sign, I'm going to spell it out, dot com. And that's A-N-A-W-E-B-E-R, doc says D-O-X-A, D like a David Overdrive. X like an X-ray and A like an Apple dot com. So Anna at Anna Weber Doxa dot com. And they're more than welcome to call me as well. 949-422-1830. Uh, if they need to reach out to me and, um, I'm open to empower others and have them reach their optimal happiness. Okay. Fantastic. Well, Anna, thank you for sharing your life with us and letting us know what's going on. That was, that was very interesting. Thank you. Thanks for listening to Business Innovators Radio. To hear all episodes featuring leading industry influencers and trendsetters, visit us online at businessinnovatorsradio.com today.